Oh! Wow. Look at that. He ate that good too, huh? Woohoo! Look at that. It's a two hander. Wowzers. Jeez. Oh, look who it is. Yeah. Welcome back. Hey. Yes, thank you. Yeah, dude. Should I put this thing to work today? <laughs> yeah. I'd say yes. Yeah. That's a go. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, guys. If you want to see how Mario does, his link is down below. Down below. Check, Check out his out. video. See how he does on the Kalisa Super Glow. Just released last month. Pretty excited about it. I've heard good things about it. <laughs> I'm Rex from Santa Maria and from Zoe's Hawaiian Barbecue. You're watching Hook to Cook. Ooh, yeah! We are joined today by Ian Ibarra. Yeah. Friends don't let friends skunk. Nope. Look at this. We're twinning. Oh, really Okuma Cielo. Is that the 96? That is the 96. Medium light action. But this is still brand new in the wrapper. 3000 series Marathon Guardian. Legit, bro. A nice setup. Welcome back, guys. Today we are gonna see if the last video, if you already saw that, was a fluke. We limited out on the new Kalisa Flash Minnow 110 Super Glow color, and again, we just want to see if it was just a fluke. So we're out here again. We're gonna try to do it, and then at the end, we're gonna have a little bit of a catch and cook. So let's go see if we can get them. For the sake of full disclosure, a percentage of the profits from ordering the Kalisa Flash Minnow from the link in the description using the code hook to cook do come back to support this channel. Thank you. So right now we're looking at high tide conditions. Well, it's incoming high tide, which means high tide is in about an hour and a half. So hopefully we can take advantage of that incoming tide bite and fish two hours into and two hours out of high tide and it's supposed to be a really big swell it's supposed to be a six foot swell today so we definitely have to be careful today we're joined with mario and ian so we definitely got to look after each other and that's what you got to do when you fish with your friends Ooh, got one. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh man, that was probably cast number six. Yeah, nice one. Only been fishing for like five, six minutes now. Oh, it's a solid one. Solid fish, guys. That is a solid fish. Oh my gosh. Got him right in the bottom lip through the hard part. So he was definitely not going anywhere. And then check this out, a little side note. We got this little satchel that we're putting the fish in. So it's not, not necessary to go back and forth to the truck. So that's awesome. Yeah, here's that satchel that I was just talking about right here. Keeps the fish at the waist, so there's not a waste of time going back and forth to drop them off in the cooler. So, super stoked. Really nice. This tip came from Angel Navarra. That happens to be Ian's uncle. Shout out to you, Angel. Thank you. So, Ian got one too. He's at the truck right now. Okay. Nice. Good start. Good start. Oh, Mario got one. Look how he ate it. <laughs> he sucked that sucker in. Dude. Second treble. Second treble? Wow. Are you kidding? Dude. What? Yes. Kalisa. Dude. Kalisa. <laughs> he came back for it. I missed him. Uh huh. Reeled it in. He hit 10 feet in front of me. Wow. Yeah. So he tracked it. He was yeah. able to really get a good view on it and follow it in. He followed it in, man. Oh, what a great. He choked it. What a great take, yeah. I don't, I don't even know. 
He's bleeding out for sure, Jeez. but gosh. If I can get that out. Yeah. Nice one. How rewarding was that? I just got bit. There it is. Oh, 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 it's a big one. Oh, take and drag. Oh. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Come here, buddy. That was awesome. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa there. Whoa there, buddy. Whoa there, buddy. Whoa there. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Look at that. He ate that good too, huh? Woo -hoo. Look at that. It's a two hander. Wowzers. Jeez. Dude. Jeez. Wow. I don't know what to say. Yeah. That's mean. <laughs> the streams of goodness. Jeez, that's a giant. Let's just get a measurement. Let's, Let's get a measurement. Wow. We need to get a measurement on this. This is a, a donkey. Toad. Sixteen, well over sixteen. Sixteen and a quarter? No. Wait, wait. I'm sliding. Oh yeah. He's yeah, sixteen. Right at 16. right at sixteen. He's there. He touches the sixteen. Look, he barely touches it. That is a yeah. giant. Oh man. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Let's release him. Okay. It would be much more rewarding to let this guy go. Great fight, and he's clean. He'll make it. He's gonna survive. Let's let him go. Definitely put up a good fight. He ate it cleanly. He's not going to die. It's going to be much more rewarding to let this one go. That was awesome. But there he is, guys. It's a nice, healthy male. Nice black chest. Dude, it's a, it's a gorgeous fish right there, guys. Gorgeous. Yeah, guys, that was an awesome fish, man. Awesome fish. And the beautiful part is we've only been fishing for less than 30 minutes and the tide is still coming up. So it's definitely great. A lot of water movement. Uh, if you look at the tide scale today, the coefficient is really big in terms of the swing. It goes from high tide to low tide pretty quick. So it's an extreme amount of water movement so these fish are definitely capitalizing on that and eating a lot of things that are stirred up by the water. And right now, just to give you an idea, the water is super clear. So it's just ideal conditions. We're pretty stoked. And then what we're doing, the technique, is you just work it as slow, as slow, slow, slow as possible while still creating the action on the lure. And nothing really substitutes the time when it comes to being able to read the waves the time that you spend out here your mind somewhat starts to be able to read the water subconsciously almost you know what you're looking at and you can decipher based on the wave action what the terrain looks like under the water Mario's on one awesome <laughs> yeah that's how you know you have sharp hooks is when the bait swings around and grabs them just like that. He wasn't going anywhere. Man, what a great day so far. And it's just beginning. High tide is still in one hour. We've caught some quality fish and the day has just begun. Is the Kalisa just a fluke? Or was that trip with the Kalisa just a fluke? So far, no, it's not. One tip when you throw the Kalisa, 
is get that retrieve coming back immediately. Not really fast, but immediately. So right when it hits the water, you can close that bail so that you can start your retrieve without much slack. Just pay attention to where your lure lands and then close the bail right as it lands. That way there's not too much slack that you have to pick up with your line. Another good one. Yeah. It's got a good shine to him. Beautiful. I missed three. Yeah. Double up. We just doubled up right now. A school must have just came by. Mine must be coming in sideways. Strong fish. This one's a keeper for sure. Whoa! Ooh! Nice one! That's a good one right there. Solid. Oh, he's coming this way. Swimming towards me now. But I can still feel his head shakes. Some good weight. He's just coming straight for me. Whoa! He came off quick release. <laughs> Got a little overzealous with that one. <laughs> this set is looking good! Wait for that one wave to break back there. All right, good to go. Twenty minutes till high tide. Got one. It doesn't feel giant. It's coming towards me, just like that last one. Yeah, it's a smaller fish. We've been missing a bunch of bites on these smaller fish, which is fine. Yep, he's probably a little eight incher. No, he's bigger than that, but not what we're after. Here we go, next spot. Is there any life here? Let's see. We'll find out here pretty soon. Got one but it doesn't feel like the quality that we want. It could even be a smelt. <laughs> it's a tiny guy. Well. <laughs> yeah, and he actually ate it too. That's funny. He actually ate it. Wow. Little. Even the seven inch perch like it. All right, buddy. Mario's got a good one on. <laughs> Mario's putting on a clinic. Solid one. You know what's nice about fishing in the winter time is none of the fish are pregnant. So that's great too. Oh yeah. Fish number seven guys. Fish number seven. On that Kalisa. <laughs> We didn't even have we didn't even have much faith in this spot. Yeah. Well, got yeah. confidence in the lure now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's. Like, yeah. I'm gonna say we're Here, you wanna throw him in? Much. Yeah. Throw him in the satchel. Boom. Satchel man. That's right. Oh! Oh! Ha, he came back for it. <laughs> Missed him, and then cried a little bit, <laughs> and then. Fish came back for it. This is a nice one. Woo! Woo, it is a goodie. So he ate it, he bit it, and then came off and he swung back around and got it. Nice. Just like the one that you caught earlier, Mario. Yeah. It seems like a heavy fish or he's side. I think he might have sideways. Yeah. Might have come back around and got him sideways. Yep. Oh, eh. Decent size. It's a decent size, yeah. But that was cool. Either it was either that or there was a school of maybe two or three of them. And one of them tried to get it, missed it, or barely had it, and then uh and then this one got it. Or it was the same fish. Sweet. Another male. Going in the satchel. Perfect eater size. I really never thought 
I would see the day when we would find something that works as good, if not better, than the Lucky Craft. Right now it's working better. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's there's Lot. Lot and Rex. <laughs> oh, you made your own? I got some. We're going to try it. Uh, did you get the Kalisa? I, I did order. I won't get it until I like, try Oh, they have them at Been There Caught That right now. Oh, they do? Yeah. Been There Caught That's got the selection. And last we checked, they had probably like six left. Tell them Edward sent you. They'll hook you up. You guys me? Yeah, we got like eight in the cooler. And we got just just right now, right now, got another couple. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's looking prime now. <laughs> it's all foamy, everything's churning up. There's a nice trough in front of us. Weather's beautiful. Life is good, guys. Life is good, never lose sight of that. Especially in this season, kind of towards Christmas. It's definitely a good time to count your blessings, especially as the holidays come along, especially if you're gonna be spending some time with your family. Just look around you and take it all in. Enjoy the people around you because at the end of the day, that's what life is all about, guys. Just enjoying it with your friends, your family, and just being grateful for everything that you have. Fish on for Mario! Dude, that's number what, nine? Number eight. Huh, number eight. Number eight. <laughs> Bro. Number eight. Dang, dude. That's it right there. Great. He's a little smaller, but he hit really hard. So I'm actually going to let this guy go. Yeah. It's not as big. <laughs> yeah. Majestic. Great, <laughs> <laughs> it's wherever you want to limit out, Mario. You're two away. Oh, number nine for Mario? Number nine? Dang! Beast mode. And we were... <laughs> I just reminded Mario that this is where he caught his halibut, his 30-incher. Little guy. Yep. Oh, got one. Oh, ho, ho. So decent. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh yeah, we found him. We found him. <laughs> I left my satchel in the truck. Damn, Mario, another one? Mario's lighting them up. He's on fire today. Wow. That's awesome. Mario's got the juice. Ooh, solid fish, solid fish, guys, solid fish, solid fish. That's a solid one. Yep, nice take. Nice take. Very nice take. The thing about surf perch is really nice is since they're such a wide fish, they know how to leverage all of that weight. And that's why it's so fun to catch them on this lighter gear is because you can really feel every single movement that they make. And again, since they have that wide body, they can turn their bodies in the surf as the waves are pulling back. And that just puts an extreme load on that rod and that's why it's so fun to catch them oh yeah this one ate it like a cigar really nice fish as i was saying this is probably the funnest way to catch them too because there's no weight that you have to fight when you do hook onto a fish it's a direct line to the fish when it's just line lure to rod versus if you were to use like a high low rig you're kind of fighting the weight of your sinker even the carolina rig there's a sinker between you and the fish so you don't get that full fight feeling it's still fun but catching them on lures is awesome because 
and they hit it full force too so that also adds to the excitement of catching them this way Ooh, nice take all right let's go another solid fish good take there you go perfect for the pan Ooh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, got a good strike right here, guys. Look how this rod just absorbs all those head shakes. Keeps that fish pinned. Now that fish is riding back on a wave. And once he flattens out and tries to swim away, the limber tip and moderate action of this rod doesn't allow that fish to shake the treble hook. Oh, it's a solid one. Oh my gosh, another beast. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's another solid one. All right, guys, we got to put this one on the gram. <laughs> For the gram. And it'll be really tough to see, but right here, there's a big sand crab patch right here. That's probably what these fish are kind of congregating around. So that's awesome. That's a freaking toad right there. Look at that thing. Yep, another one with a black chest. If anybody knows why they have the black chest, leave it in the comments below. Seems only the males have it. That's a solid fish right there. Tank. Ooh, another one, another good one. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, oh solid, oh yeah. Oh, he's pinned. Dude, this, this guy's barely moving. This fish slammed it. Oh, another one. Where is he? Oh, he's a good one. Yep. Woo! Come here. Oh, come here. Ah, yeah. Jeez, this is deja vu. Deja vu from the last video, guys. They are loving this new lure. This lure has only been out by, for like a month and a half. Actually, it came out while I was on my honeymoon in Costa Rica and I knew it was delivered at my front door and I really couldn't wait to get home <laughs> to throw it. Oh yeah! <laughs> Major key get some good distance on it and then start reeling it slow. Mario was just saying that he was seeing me fight or catch, oh, I just lost it. Oh no, it's still there. But he was saying that he was watching me fish and he's like, man, you, you reel that thing in so slow. And then he started reeling it slow and he got a bite. And then I was just like, okay. I was really concentrating on making sure that I reel this thing in as slow as possible and boom, got bit. And yeah, again, guys, when, when you reel it slow, it allows them to really inhale the bait, get all those treble hooks. You rarely swipe a fish when you reel it in slow. Oh, there he goes, quick release. That was a decent fish. That was a keeper too. But yeah, can't stress it enough. Reel it as slow as you can and still feel resistant. And also don't be afraid to pause it because this bait actually suspends. When you're in a slack tide between waves, you can actually pause this bait and it'll stay put. <laughs> Mario turns to me and he goes, I just missed a nice one right now. Oh, there he is right there. Nice one. Mario's got a monster. Look at that. On fire, Mario. 
on fire. Oh, geez. Inhaled it. Yeah, he did. It's that, it's that slow retrieve. You might be able to get out. Yeah, I might go up. Yeah, here. Oh, throw yeah, it. yeah, that slow retrieve is the way to go, bro. Major key. Whoa. There it is, right there. Oh yeah, it is that slow retrieve. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, strip and drag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. This is a strong fish. That's a strong fish. Fighting all the way in. Woo -hoo 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a strong fish right there. Oh, that is a hog, guys. Beasting it today. We're just bringing them in, bro. Yeah, dude, that's a yes. that's a big fish, guys. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to throw a Kalisa yet? I got you, bro. Friends don't let friends catch dinks either. Nope. <laughs> There's a Kalisa right there. All right, so I just hooked up Ian with a Kalisa. He's been throwing the Lucky Craft the whole time. And I believe he caught three, so that's good. But the way that Mario and I have been producing on this Super Glow Kalisa, it does say something, you know? We've been catching some big ones and it's been consistent for both of us. And uh, Ian was throwing the Lucky Craft in like a laser sardine color. And maybe it's the color or maybe it's the lure or maybe it's the combination of both. We've had videos on this same channel where you know, neither of them produced or the Lucky Craft produced and the Kalisa didn't, but it was never the Super Glow Sardine like we're using right now. This color just seems to be so effective. Oh yeah! There you go. There he is. Got him. He attacked the middle treble, huh? Yeah. That's what's up. But the middle treble yeah. deep in there. All three. <laughs> All three. <laughs> First one on the Kalisa. Yeah. After switching. And you said you missed two other bites. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, dude. The main the main reason for that other one is so that you don't spike yourself while scaling it, you know? Shears are an essential kitchen tool for sure. When I'm using the scaler, I'm not gonna cut myself on one of the spines there. And I scale around the head so that we can keep the head for soup later. We're channeling our inner fisherman's life. Beautiful. Skin side first. Ooh. Yep, I'm gonna watch some more of Chris Fish Dishes videos to watch how he does his avocados. Because <laughs> this does not look pretty, but it probably tastes good. Is this thing on? Hello? Anybody? What do you think, Mario? Freshest fish you can get. It's amazing. Just butter, carne asada um, seasoning. They caramelized really well, like crispy. You see that? It's got a crunch to it. Mm. We think today was a success. We proved that the last video was not a fluke. I agree. I mean, since we got here this morning, it was like lights out on the Kalisa. One after another after another. I was hooking up, Ed was hooking up, Ian was hooking up. I'm a believer. 
It works. You saw it in action. Mm -hmm. I got more action on the Kalisa than the Lucky Craft, that's for sure. More bites, more fish. Yeah, my casting, my slow retrieving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slow retrieve was like, that was the move. Yeah. But yeah, that was major key. Slow retrieve, like Ian said, it was a great day. And we got to eat right on the beach. Taking advantage of those days off. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. Well, we may or may not fish some more. Solid fish. Solid fish. <laughs> After we ate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Just when he thought it was over, guys. Look how he ate it. Look how he ate it. Second treble down his mouth. Woo! Massive surf perch. Gosh, got him in the gills too. He ate the bait, like both the trebles in his mouth. Crazy. It's solid.